Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share some tips on how to look stylish at work when you are on a budget. I do want to preface this by saying that everyone's budget is different and what might be a lot for one person might be considered normal for another. So do keep that in mind. However, I have got some pretty general tips here which you should be able to apply no matter how much money you have to spend on your work wardrobe. With all that being said, let's just dive into it with the first tip, which is to make sure that you're investing in the right pieces for your work wardrobe. Now, we all have very different personal style and it can be a little difficult to actually feel like you can inject that into your work wardrobe. However, there are small ways that you can do it by choosing the types of items that you wear to the office. I'm sure when you first started developing your work wardrobe, you might have done a few searches to see what key pieces you should have in your work wardrobe. And there are some pretty defined items in there which I don't think are for everyone. Could be chic dresses even though you don't enjoy wearing dresses or maybe suits with trousers even though you prefer to wear a skirt. So you can kind of tailor that to you and you can sort of invest your money in the right items on the right workwear pieces that you will actually get wear out of. My next tip is to get items tailored. Just say for example you are out sale shopping for your work wardrobe and I'm going to talk about this a little bit later and you find a really great skirt, a dress or some trousers which are perfect they fit you really amazingly however they are just it's just too long I would recommend just biting the bullet purchasing it and incorporating the fee of actually getting that item tailored taken up into the actual overall cost of the item I find that this is a really simple tool to make any item in your wardrobe look like it is made for you and something that I apply not only to those workwear pieces but also to my everyday closet as well and it really does make a world of difference I would recommend finding a tailor that is nearby which has reasonably fast turnaround times and that also isn't too expensive but they do a good job so you can kind of find reviews on Yelp that sort of thing but do find out what their fees are first so that you can kind of keep that in the back of your mind when you are browsing for new items for your work closet. My next tip is one I mention in quite a lot of my videos and that is to stick to a color palette. I find that this is a really useful way of making sure that everything that you have can be mixed and matched simply. You don't have to worry about whether or not items are going to go together uh, and it means that you can have a really curated, carefully selected, small wardrobe. You don't have to go out and purchase loads of different things because nothing works together. Along the same lines as my previous tip, the next one is to opt for neutrals. I find that not only do these look much more expensive, again, they are so easy to mix and match. And I actually find that they can be a really good base or foundation if you want to add in a pop of color. Just say you really love the color red. It's one of my favorites. It looks really beautiful when paired with uh, and I find those two tones just play off each other beautifully so it's a really good way to go and like I said before a neutral outfit can look really expensive even if you're wearing really inexpensive items. If you are the type of person who likes to leave getting dressed in the morning until the last minute then this next tip is for you it is to take photos of outfits for the office that you've worn that you really like and keep it in a folder on your phone. This is something that I do with outfits that I wear that I love because I think that we should be repeating the outfits that we really enjoy wearing because they're ones that we're gonna feel confident and feel great in. It's a great way to have a little bit of a cheat sheet at your disposal at all times where you can just kind of flick through and think, oh, that was an outfit I wore maybe last month. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna reach for that again. You don't have to think about it. It's already done for you. You've already kind of done the hard yards of pulling together that look. So that's a really good tip if you want to get a few more minutes of sleep in the morning. My next tip is to buy items that do double duty. And what I mean by this is items that are versatile enough to not only be worn for the office, but also to be worn on the weekend as well. And this is something that I always would try and apply to perhaps 50% of my wardrobe purchases I wanted things that could really just cross the boundaries of work wear into uh, weekend wear because for me that is a way that I can get the most out of my wardrobe and really make my dollar stretch further so uh, for me this is really elevated basics it could just be a simple cotton shirt I know that that is sort of a quintessential basic for Parisian style or Scandinavian style if you love those sorts of aesthetics but also a really nice black blazer is the kind of thing that you could wear as a suit to the office but then you could pair it back with some jeans and sneakers or some ballet flats on the weekend and then you've got more of a uh, paired back casual weekend vibe. 
Now ultimately this isn't going to work with every single purchase that you get for the office but like I said I have that rule of about 50% I find that that is a pretty good sweet spot and it's always really worked for me. My next tip is to have a signature accessories look. So what this does is it really reduces the amount of money you need to spend on accessories to mix up your outfit so instead just focusing on the basics. The reality is that most days people aren't even really paying attention to what you wear and if you wear the same outfit every day for a week I'm sure very few people would notice. So I like to kind of keep my accessories very basic, very pared back. I used to keep a pair of shoes underneath my desk which I would wear every single day without fail. It was just the one pair of shoes that I needed. There were some black pumps and they were just classic. They went with everything and I knew I could rely on them. Same went with my bag. I had the same tote bag that I used every day. It was smart, it was functional and it did the trick. I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on these items. I just think something that is good quality and that is made to last is all you need to do and this can be found at any price point. My next tip is to focus on purchasing more natural fiber pieces over synthetics and there's a few reasons why I recommend doing this. I think for one they tend to last a lot longer than their synthetic counterparts, they are generally better made and the fabric is going to feel a lot nicer against your skin. I think if you've got a little bit of a capsule workwear wardrobe of sorts you are going to be wearing those items over and over again so longevity is key no matter how much you're paying for that item and I found that a lot of those workwear basics that are made from natural fibers, especially things like cotton shirts can be purchased very affordably. One of my favorite places to go for workwear basics is Uniqlo. They do a really great cotton shirt, just a simple cotton Oxford. If you can't find one in the women's section, I would recommend checking out the men's section as you can get a very simple one. You just probably would have to size down, make sure you try it on first. But that is one of my biggest tips and I find actually kind of shifting your work wardrobe to one part of your closet can really help so that you can see everything that you've got to work with in the one place. Now my next two tips have more to do with getting really high quality pieces at more of a discount. And the first one is to consider shopping pre-loved. I feel like the stigma around shopping pre-loved or secondhand has really kind of disappeared in recent years and I think that's great. I absolutely love buying pre-loved. You guys will probably know from a lot of my other videos this top actually was a pre-loved purchase because I think you can get some absolute gems for a fraction of the retail price. One of my favorite places to go is The Real Real just because they tend to have a really good selection of designer items and a lot of them are under the $100 mark, actually less than $75 US dollars. So a really good price to get something that is made from 100% silk. If you want a really beautiful silk blouse, I've seen a lot of equipment ones on there. Just keep in mind that a lot of those are dry clean only. So you do need to pay attention to the care instructions. Uh, but the other places that you can kind of go to are Vestia Collective, you can look on Depop, there is a Poshmark, you can also go on eBay, all of these sorts of places are essentially treasure troves for really fantastic items at a fraction of the price and it's a really good way to make your dollar extend further. Especially if you are also selling items as well, you can kind of put the money that you receive for anything you've sold into your work wardrobe shopping budget. My final tip when it comes to looking stylish at work when you're on a budget is to shop off season. This might come as a bit of a no-brainer but essentially buying things when they are on sale or at a heavily reduced or discounted price is a great way to again make your dollar stretch further and really go the extra mile. You can get really high quality pieces again for a fraction of the price especially if you're going to good outlet stores. I know that there are tons of great online outlets as well as physical stores as well so it's kind of worth spending a little bit of time rifling through because you can get incredible items for an incredible deal and that will really help you to kind of make the most of your workwear budget. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. You got a few ideas for how you can look stylish at work when you are on a budget. I know it can be really hard, especially when you want to kind of showcase your personal style. And there are little touches that you can do, whether it's maybe mixing up your jewelry, putting on some really beautiful necklaces that you love to wear in your free time, just making sure they are office appropriate, or maybe mixing up your hairstyle or even your makeup. But I really do hope that you enjoy this. And if you have any other tips, as always, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.